Hello athletes and fitness enthusiasts, Jürgen Swinkels here. Today we are going to talk about a topic that is a joy for many and a curse for others, alcohol. There is a long history of association between alcohol and sports, which is reinforced by alcohol companies, in particular beer breweries sponsoring sports events, football clubs, competitions or races. In addition, bottles of champagne are synonymous with winning trophies and not only in the sports world. And it even meet maybe the culture of sports teams to celebrate routine victories by drinking alcohol after the match. Drinking alcohol can also be used as a distraction from poor performances and the associated outcome such as relegation. So let's dig a little deeper into the subject of alcohol consumption and sports. The intake of alcohol varies significantly between countries and different cultures. Alcohol or ethanol is an energy supplying nutrient that is included in the diet of a large part of the world population. In chemistry, alcohol is an organic compound that carries at least one hydroxyl functional group bound to a saturated carbon atom. The term alcohol originally refers to the primary alcohol ethanol, which is the main alcohol present in alcoholic drinks. After alcohol is ingested, it is absorbed rapidly from the gastrointestinal tract and circulated to all the tissue in the body. Alcohol is metabolized in the liver at the rate of approximately 100 mg per kilogram of body mass per hour, although individual variation do exist. However, as the metabolism of alcohol is slower than the rate at which it is absorbed, concentrations accumulate in the blood. Blood alcohol concentrations typically peak 40 minutes after ingestion. Athletes and fitness enthusiasts are not exempt from the influence that alcohol has on society. And for example, team sport players often consume greater volumes of alcohol through binging behavior compared with the general population. On the other hand, it is recommended that athletes and fitness enthusiasts abstain from alcohol to avoid negative impact this drug has on recovery and sporting performance. While this recommendation may seem sensible, the impact alcohol has on recovery and sports performance is complicated and depends on many factors such as the volume of alcohol being consumed, the timing of alcohol consumption, the recovery time required before recommencing training, competition or match and the injury status of the player. It is generally accepted that physical and technical performance as well as decision making will be impaired if an athlete is intoxicated with alcohol. Therefore, it is obvious there is a strong advice against alcohol intake prior to training and competition or match. Studies have investigated the impact of drinking alcohol following a dehydrating exercise and have found that exercise induced hypohydration being the uncompensated loss of body water combined with alcohol intake post exercise has the ability to influence the subjective effects of alcohol and increase the likelihood of risk taking behavior such as drunk driving. Research from the same group also reported that alcohol ingestion post-exercise can result in impaired cognitive function in hypohydrated individuals. Other studies have reported that alcohol consumption reduces rates of muscle protein synthesis following an exercise session, even when co-ingested with protein. Thus, alcohol ingestion will suppress the anabolic response in skeletal muscle. 
And therefore, during the recovery period, players and athletes and fitness enthusiasts are advised to avoid alcohol intake. Also, following alcohol intoxication, it is highly likely that a hangover will impede performance and interfere with a player's or athlete's decision making. In addition, a hangover may disrupt the athlete's normal routine and result in poor dietary choices before training session or a match or a competition. And then there is the caloric value of alcohol. Alcohol containing beverages have a relatively high energy content. There are 7 calories in every gram of alcohol compared to only 4 calories in every gram of carbohydrates. A beer contains roughly 43 calories per 100 mg. That means a 330 ml bottle of regular beer carries more than 140 calories and drinking 3 bottles of beer adds more than 400 calories to your daily intake. A 70 kg player with a fat-free mass of 56 kg needs about 56 times 45 calories is 2565 calories of energy on a rest day. Adding an extra 400 calories from 3 bottles of beer means almost 15% higher energy intake and if consumed on a regular basis it will result in significant weight gains. Unlike fat, which is deposited into fat cells of carbs that are stored in our muscles and liver as glycogen, the body doesn't have a storage place for alcohol. This is because alcohol is detected by the body as a toxic molecule. This means the body is forced to prioritize the breakdown of alcohol over the metabolism of all other micronutrients being fat, protein and carbohydrates. In the liver, the alcohol is converted into a compound that the body is very efficient at burning. While our body is burning it off, it stops burning fat and this can be for hours post drinking. For those who drink regularly, the body starts identifying alcohol as a consistent energy source and over time may start promoting body fat storage rather than burning it off. This is where the term beer gut or beer belly comes from as the most common site of fat stories is around people's midsection. And there is no question that weight gain will have a negative effect on performance in particular if the weight gain consists of adipose fat tissue. Finally, athletes who regularly drink alcohol may develop their drinking habit into alcoholism. Alcoholism, or more and more referred to as alcohol use disorder, is a condition in which a person has a desire or physical need to consume alcohol even though it has a negative impact on their life. Athletes at risk of high alcohol intake are usually injured athletes or athletes no longer being selected for the starting 11 in a team. Alcohol intake may increase if athletes are unmotivated or seeking distraction from not being involved in their daily exercise routines. I'm sure it's clear that alcohol has a detrimental effect on performance and recovery. In addition, alcohol consumption can be harmful for achieving nutritional goals because of its potential impact on the player's dietary choices. Therefore, athletes and fitness enthusiasts should be encouraged to drink alcohol responsibly and avoid excess consumption during the competitive season. Also, during an injury period, it is advisable to reduce if not eliminate alcohol intake. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We are dropping videos like this on YouTube on a regular basis. And if you have questions, leave them in the comment box below with hashtag School Sport Nutrition and I'll do my best to get in there and get those questions answered right away.